All right, we are joined now in studio by Panthers legend Luke Keekley. We are going to be talking all everything off season, free agency, draft, the work. So thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. All right, let's start with the most recent, the draft. Mm -hmm. Xavier Leggett, Panthers trade up to 32. I want to know what you thought of the move and then also what he can bring to this offense. Well, I think the most exciting thing right now is you saw how excited he was in his press conference. Yes. I think he's just fun. He's smiling. He's filled with so much happiness. It just, it makes me happy that he enjoys playing the game of football and he enjoys being here and he's so excited to be part of the Panthers and obviously the on-field stuff speaks for itself. I think he's big, he's long, he can run, but he plays big. And I think that's something that doesn't always translate. You got a guy that's big, he can jump, he's got all the tools, but does he play big? And last year, that's what we saw as guys challenging him at the ball, him going up, high pointing, bringing the ball down. And I think he does a great job creating layers in the defense. He can stretch the field, he can get down the field. It opens up windows for, you know, Adam Thielen, Deontay Johnson guy that we picked up this off season. So hopefully it'll give a little bit of uh, creativity in the offense with a guy that's able to go deep. He can mm -hmm. run intermediate routes and he's a, He's a difficult guy to get on the ground once you get the ball in his hands. Yes, he is. And, and we got to talk to him when he came in after he was drafted. And he said his mindset is my ball or nobody's, which I figure you got to like that. Yeah, Bryce has got to love that too. It's yeah. just throw it up and let him go get it. Absolutely, so. absolutely. That's why they drafted him. When you look at this offense overall, you know, we talked about Xavier Leggett. We also see Panthers drafting a running back, a tight end. We see some big moves in the offseason, the guards, big guys. And uh, the trade for Deontay Johnson, where do you think this offense is right now? I think you start it and you build it up front, right? And you look at your two tackles, right? Taylor Moten, that speaks for itself. Icky, Icky's a first round pick, got a ton of talent. You get the two guards and then Austin Corbett, a guy that, that we talked a lot about last year when he was in the lineup, we were a lot better. And when he was out, we just missed him because of his leadership ability, his ability to calm guys down. And he's obviously a really good player. So when you look at our five offensive linemen, you're really excited mm -hmm. about. Adam Thielen's back. We, we can't forget about Mingo. Mm -hmm. Mingo was a guy that we really liked last year. Second round pick, big, long, fast, can run. One guy that I really like that I think epitomizes kind of what we want to be is Chuba. Yeah. I don't think we talk about him enough, but you come to practice, you watch him, you watch him in games. All he wants to do is win and he does everything he can to do that. He's tough, he's physical, he plays really hard. And what a season he had last year. And of course, we expect him to continue to grow as well this season. All right, we've got to talk defense. We've, we've gone this long. I want to ask you about the third round pick out of Kentucky, Trevin Wallace, the linebacker. What do you like about him? So I watched him this morning. I'm like, what does this guy have? You know, you watch, you look at, at numbers. He's, he's athletic, he can run, he's explosive. Um, and I'm curious to see kind of how they plan. Can he rush? Can he come off the edge? Can you put him on a running back and say, hey, just cover him. It's going to be man coverage. Use your athletic ability. Give him a little bit of technique. So if I'm him and I'm coming in, I've got two older guys to learn from. Shaq is fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, I think I was very fortunate to play with a guy like Thomas. Mm -hmm. um, and now I think Shaq will probably look forward to the opportunity to, to help a young guy out. So um, I'm excited about him. And Shaq has always talked to me about continuing the legacy mm -hmm. that you set for him and that Thomas set for both of you. And so he really takes pride, as you said, in, in being a leader and not just being, you know, playing his position on the field. What about this defense overall? Of course, the Panthers trade away Brian Burns, make some significant signings in free agency, which a lot of which you mentioned, and then, you know, make some, make some big moves in the draft. Where do you think this defense is right now? Well, I think, it, I think it's super helpful that we get Ajero and his whole crew mm -hmm. back. I think that was one part of our team last year that was really good. They were consistent. They played really hard. They were subbing guys in. I don't know how many guys we had play corner last year. It felt <laughs> yeah. like every week there was a new guy that stepped in, but he would step in and do a really good job. You know, you bring in Clowney, you bring in Wanham. Jordan Fuller's a guy that, yep. that I'm excited about. So you call guys up and say, talk to me about Jordan Fuller. And it's always, man, we're so bummed he's gone. Oh. Like, you're going to love him. He's a great player. He's a great dude. And I think that's one thing is you start to look at our roster from a talent perspective, that's one thing. But when you look at the type of dude that we have, that's what I'm most excited about. A lot of reasons for optimism on this 2024 squad. Luke, you are the best. Thank you so much for coming in studio and talking Absolutely. all things offseason with us. Thanks.